car anymore. Reason being, I had ordered another wig. If you've seen one of the previous videos on Poshmark that I did with that wig, it was great. It was wonderful. Great deal. Pretty much got it half off. Wonderful condition. Just need to be brushed it out. Well, I saw this wig. I actually purchased this wig first, but it took longer to get here because it took longer for the person to ship it. Don't leave me. Love me. Hanky. Love me. Yay. Head whoop. Oh, thank you for head whoop. Um, so yeah, it took longer for the person to ship it, so I got it second. And one thing I was thinking while on Poshmark was, hey, I should try to fix a wig, maybe for a video, and I didn't know if I was going to get a really good wig to do the fixing with, because the other one I thought, hey, I could do the video fixing when all I needed was brushing out, but that there was no reason to do a whole video on how I brushed out a wig. There's hundreds of like that on online. I think I actually did one. No, I haven't. But anyway, this wig here looked really, really cute in the pictures and online. In the comments of the post that was on there, someone was told it was a lace front wig. And you kind of, sort of can see that maybe it could have been. The pictures weren't great, but they weren't necessarily horrible. In the pictures, it looked like a short mid part uh, wig that was like a peachy pink color with a dark root. Um, it looked pretty okay. It looked like it needed a little fixing and I was going to do a video over it on how to fix it. Now I didn't think it would be so freaking bad. And that, that's today is the project is trying to get this wig to be accessible. I don't know. If I can. I'm going to start with the box. Because this is the box they sent it in. I had taken off the paper that had address and names and stuff on it. We had to cut off the top. I didn't cut it. Because last time I opened up a box, I cut my hand. It's doing better now. It's doing better. But, yeah. They, they literally just threw this wig in a box. Did nothing about it. Um, I have looked at it. And yeah, so this box was already damaged and slightly open when I got it. It was just taped in certain areas and they needed to cut it off and that's what happened. Um, so yeah, it looks like they just found, they had trouble finding a box and found the random box. I want to know, why do you need a 20 piece stainless steel bowl set with lids? And how do 20 pieces fit in here? Like, are they small? I don't know. Oh wait, it shows right here. Two bowls of each size, they're PC free lids, both diameters. Okay, so there's a 17 ounce one. Oh, I should not be going over the freaking bowls. But either way, you could have just put it in a vanilla envelope. Put it in a Ziploc baggie, then put it in a vanilla envelope so that way it didn't get damaged. The vanilla envelope got damaged, and at least it did the wig itself wouldn't. The last one that I got looked like someone kept the actual packaging to their wig when they got it, so they just kind of kept it in it as a storage, and when they sent it to me, they sent it to me in a vanilla envelope, so they did it right. They did it, like, this is not necessarily wrong, could be better, but I see, like, you don't need to put it in an actual box because it doesn't necessarily get broken, but anyway, let's, let's take it out. It doesn't look too bad at first glance, but then you look at it more and you realize how garbage it is. First off, on the inside, it doesn't really ha it has just this kind of weft made, which means it's just a more cheaply made. Uh, better quality ones will have kind of a lace cap and then the wefts don't onto that lace cap. It keeps these pieces from going in and out and getting tangled as easily. So there's that. Um, it does come with combs two combs right here in the front, but I will say one thing that got me worried was the fact that I didn't see any lace on this wig, and that is because it is not a lace front, or at least if it used to be, they completely cut it off. So it has one of those things for like a mid part where you see cosplay wigs or kind of just cheaper wigs, 
where instead of doing the lace down the center for the bit part, they just put this like plasticky, rubbery material that kind of gives the appearance of skin, and then they, and it's been cut. That's how you know that maybe possibly this was a lace front wig that was a bit cheaper made and there was only a little bit of lace, a little bit of that lacing on the front and they literally cut off all of the lace including the parts that had a hair attached to it. And I'm just kind of like, how? Either that or this person had this wig and it was a wig that had bangs and they didn't like the bangs and cut the bangs off. Because, yeah. But either way, it's been cut, it's been damaged, and it has staining. Another thing is it is incredibly tangled, but I expected the tangledness. But uh, on the back ends, they're really hard. I can't, I can't. It's gross. It's hard. I hope. That is really gross. I'm hoping that it's like hair gel or hairspray, something like got to be glue, hair gel, and hairspray it can kind of look like this after a while. So, that's what I'm hoping. And another thing, it's not naturally rooted. It didn't come rooted. They rooted it with eyeshadow because it comes off my hands. And it's glittery. <laughs> so, let's just say I have a lot going for me. Because it's been cut in the front, possibly because it used to have bangs and they didn't want the bangs, or whatever lace is there was just right here because it looks like it's been cut from here to here because i can see so many cut pieces and it's gonna cause so much shedding so <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to try to fix this but i am determined i'm going to try it it was a nine dollar wig i really should only pay two dollars for it because of how shit it is um i have pretty much told, they gave a review, I don't know if it's gonna help or not, saying this is pretty much the shittiest wig ever, saying it came box differently, you know, the box was damaged, if this was a breakable item, it would have been completely damaged, it was, it's not clean, like, you sent me a dirty ass, nasty ass wig, hello, and it is not what they said it was, granted, in their description itself, it did not say it was a lace front wig, they said in the comments to a different person, yes, this is a lace front wig. They lied to someone. And that's a problem. Now, if you don't know what a lace front wig is, okay, whatever, but there's Google. You got no excuse to not know what a lace, the difference between a normal wig or, you know, a digi any kind, the different kind of wig besides basic wig and lace front wig. Everyone at this point knows what a lace front wig looks like. It's the one that gives you a more natural looking hairline. While the ones don't. So, my plan to try to fix this is first clean it. It just needs to be clean. I'm going to sh shampoo it. I'm going to try to get what's ever on the ends out. I hope it's not cum. Cum doesn't do that, so I'm pretty sure it's not cum. But it could be something else that's also just as nasty. But what I'm thinking about doing is taking some of these hairs that are attached to this piece here, this like plasticky rubbery piece that you try to be skin piece, over direct it forward after cleaning it to try to give it bangs. So that way it will cover these kind of like nastier, dirtier areas. I need to wash my hands after this. Again, this is why I think it used to have bangs because there's really short pieces here. Like it used to be part of that and how it's over directed. But they didn't want all of it and they just kind of like more of a side swoop. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking when doing this? Were you thinking that it's going to look more real? Because it does not. So, pretty much over direct, cut some bangs, get that going, and then that will hopefully cover it and then style it. And I think that will work. But I thought, hey, this could help some people. Who may, be, who may be on a budget and want to do cosplays, want to play with wigs, want to do different things, and be able to work with some of the nastiest things in the cheapest ways possible. I don't know if I'm going to root this wig. I like the idea of a root, but I will probably just do like a darker root or a brown root because a brown root looks nice. And there's a different ways of rooting it without using eyeshadow because eyeshadow just gets everywhere. It just feels nasty and it just, though it does dull it down, I just kind of like that. There's other ways to dull it down. Just use something 
Anyway, I'm just going to make this even more messy. So, I am going to wash this. And, yeah, I'm going to wash this and then I am going to also kind of soak it in some uh, laundry softener, some fabric softener. So that way it kind of helps with the process of detangling. I'm just going to kind of take a little bit in some water and kind of like in a, like a bowl or something and just kind of smush it down and let it get saturated and then let it dry afterwards after I make sure all this gunk is out. And then either tomorrow or later today, if it's dry enough, brush it out, try to style and reheat you know, reheat certain areas with a hair dryer or even just using a hot water boil method. It's annoying. It's very, very much so annoying. So I think with this being a shorter wig, though it is pretty thick, I believe this was at least a decent wig that they got and they kind of just massacred it. And I can see people doing this if they're just unwilling to look things up. There's no reason for this. There's no reason for people to make such big mistakes like this because especially in this year because there's so many videos and websites that help you understand how to take care of your wigs that there's no excuse to have to buy a wig you know they send maybe fifty dollars i think and then demolish it and be like well it didn't match my complexion and that's why i'm getting rid of it. no you freaking messed it up and now you're wanting to let some poor sucker deal with your problem Anyway, let's just say I am never buying something from that person again. I'm not going to put down their information because I think that there's no need to. Um, I'm only going to put people I think I really enjoy on there. So, yeah. And I'll start that soon. Time to wash the wig. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my shampoo. I am going to run hot warm water, try to get all the gunk out, and then put it with some warm water in this bowl. A little bit of fabric softener. Doesn't matter what kind. And then, yeah. Will it be all clean? <laughs> So I'm just going to let it sit in the uh, fabric softener, warm water mixture for about 5-10 minutes and then I'll just string it up, like put it on a, a hanger and let it dry overnight, you know, and then tomorrow I'll get it done. I got as much of the eyeshadow as I possible. I think I might go back in with like a makeup wipe and go kind of go in with that and that might work out better. I shampooed so many times. My hands are very pruny because of it. So yeah, let it sit. Dry it out, and then I'll show you the next step when it's time. Yeah! Okay, so after washing the wig and trying to get as much as that goopy stuff out, um, here it is, tangled as all get out, pinned onto my styrofoam head. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush it out, and then I see some spots, like here, that really should be glued down with some, like, Fabri-Tac glue or something. And that's what I'll do after that. And then I'll just style it, give it some bangs, and then, yeah, strategically try to hide this mess up here. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. One pro tip when brushing out a wig, make sure to start from the bottom of the fibers and make your way up. This is going to detangle it more efficiently and keep it from like pulling at the head and just pulling all the fibers out. You want to use the same method when just brushing your own hair. It, it honestly is best. So yeah, I will show you what it looks like after brushed out and then also I'll show you the process of me um, giving it bangs after gluing this piece down. But I don't want to glue it down until it's all brushed. So, yay! Okie dokie. So, here's the wig just kind of brushed out, and I have glued the kind of pieces together. So, now I'm going to go in and I am going to kind of like rearrange this. I have a flat iron. Warm it up here. So, that way I can make sure the hair is kind of like switched. And then I also have. 
my brush. I'm gonna comb in some look clips, and I need to go find my scissors. So, be right back for this. I found the scissors, and I also have a frosty because friends be best. We gotta. So, yep, I'm going to try to go ahead and start getting some bangs going, and hopefully it works out. I'm going to try to do, like, a thin bang and hope that works. But right now, I'm just kind of picking some of the hair to be the kind of, like, bang and redirect it. But I'm also trying to keep some hair here because this is going to hide the imperfections. I'm just kind of using a comb. A little bit of it. Just... One thing I do plan to do with this wig is to go ahead and root it. I'm only going to root really the top part of it and not get super deep into it. So that way I don't have to worry about these dark spots. Now I'm just going to take the flat iron and kind of gently go over it to redirect. get like the best kind of like bang I can do. I'm not great at bangs, but I'm trying. <laughs> to bend because I feel like it maybe was a side bang. I don't know what this person was doing. Let's go ahead and cut off some of this. It's like a nice little blunt chop there. Chop chop. And start shaping some bangs. <laughs> try to shape it a little bit at a time by layers and hope that works. Cause maybe if I can get down to these deeper levels I can get in there with the flat iron. There we go. around here at first. I'm doing cuts like this so that way it gives a better a feathered look and that way it looks a little bit more real and it's just not super blunt. 
I'll first do like a blunt cut and then so long and I can always push a wig back. <laughs> try to even out because it looks like there's too much on this side so I'm just gonna something a little bit cuter and help with the length so 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and widen the bangs a little bit. by taking a little piece from here. Okay. And then a little piece from here. Try to make it as even as possible. Like, I kind of like the small bangs, but, like, I have a wider face. So, I need a little bit extra bang space. <laughs> Oh, by the way, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of giving it a little bit more layers so that way it's not super thick at the bottom as well as doing the little shoop shoop treatment to it. perfect no but do they look pretty freaking decent yes especially since this was a really messed up wig and I think just with that I definitely would say I have saved this wig so far and I do want to go ahead and still root it but really on the top like a little bit of the bangs and then downward but with Copic markers because that's just going to look a little bit more natural as well as it's not going to be so messy. I'd probably only do a little bit because I don't want to buy more Copic market refills especially I don't want to wait like two weeks to get them because sometimes they're prime sometimes they're not. Um but yeah uh I'll probably do a quick showing of how I re-root, well not re-root, but uh, how I root a wig for this process. I'll probably even do even less layers than I said because I just want to give it a little bit of a natural oomph. And yeah, so, woo! Okay, so now I'm going to root the wig and I'm not doing a lot of it. I'm just going to do a small section kind of help give it, make it a little bit more natural and do um the what i'm going to use to do that is this copic marker in the color light suntan along with some q-tips and some rubbing alcohol don't mind that the rubbing alcohol is pink that happened from my last ring session but it will probably not affect this at all so Basically, how I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small, kind of thin section. Probably should have grabbed a comb, but whatever. Like this, take the chiseled end of the marker. And just kind of color it. Make sure you get both sides. Close to the root, and then I dip my Q-tip, eh, dip my Q-tip in some rubbing alcohol, and just kind of take it and blend it out. And I'm not really going for like really dark root, just a little bit of one, to kind of give it a little bit more dimension in the front. I can later on just color darker if I want. So yeah. Thank you. 
so after rooting it with the slightly lighter color, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker color. Just probably do a little bit around here, and I'm going to go in with dark, su dark suntan. Got a light suntan and dark suntan. And I'm just going to go in and kind of just do a little bit to kind of help give a definition, but I'm really going to blend it out. Going outside because it's such a nice day and the lighting is great. So, yeah, here's the wig on me, finally finished. Can't really see the grossness because of the bangs. I think I did a pretty decent job on the bangs. I'm walking in mud. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, here's the wig. All done. All nice, kind of cute. Yes, Ari. Why? Why? Anxious pupper. Very anxious pupper. Always anxious pupper. Why, why are you whining? Why are you whining right now? <laughs> what you got? You got a ball. You want me to throw the ball? Do you want me to? You're slightly happier now. Now I got it for you. Yeah. Hi, bird. Oh. Oh, you're a woodpecker. Hold on, hold on. So there's like a woodpecker up there? Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're flying around. He's smacking things. Where are you? There you are. Hi. Hi, woodpecker. So if you're smacking, that's him. You try and get himself some gloves and, and ants and shit. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I guess, I guess I'll finally do this outro. So yeah, here's the wig. It's kind of cute. Um, I prefer it actually without my glasses. Like, I feel like it definitely does give a different structure to my face. Eh. Eh. Um, I do know my eyebrows do not match this wig at all, but I wasn't going for it. I am wearing day makeup, and I'm going to do other things. I'm not going to wear this all day. It's not too badly uncomfortable. Um, yeah. Color-wise, it looks great on me. You can barely see, kind of like the rooting. It just kind of gives a little slight variation shade. I don't know. I might go a little darker with it eventually. Who knows? Um, this will definitely look cute with a hat. And then again, all wigs. And then, if you're first starting into wigs and you just want to like cosplay wigs and you just want to like kind of test out colors and things like that, definitely go and get a hat, like a cute beanie or something, because they make the wigs look just so much cuter. And then you re and let you learn how to work with wigs and style with wigs. So yeah, yeah. I think the only other thing I would want to do with this wig is to recurl it because the curl is like so messed up right now. Like one side looks. It looks more like a asymmetrical bobble, the other side doesn't. I don't know, maybe the person cut it and then try to curl it themselves. I don't know. I'm gonna probably straighten it out, see if make sure it's even, and then turn around and put new curls in it. But yeah. This cut doesn't look too bad on me. Yeah, I'll probably take a couple pictures and stuff. Look at my highlight though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so blinding. I love it. I just love it. So, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. If you want to make sure you're notified every time I upload a video, hit that bell notification. And, yeah. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Ari is still being anxious, and I don't know why. She's just... She's just always neurotic. That's Freya, though. Freya's. Freya's. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Dang. Freya's always chill. Aren't you Freya? Freya? <gasps> yes, you're a pretty girl, aren't you? Hi, Ari. These are my friends. These are not my dogs. These are family friends' dogs. My dog is old and doesn't like to come outside. Oh, my God.